The only thing more fun than saying the word snoodle is playing with a real snoodle. They may look like designer teddy bear dogs, but they are actually an intelligent, energetic, and loyal breed that'll fill your home with joy. The snoodle is a cross between a schnauzer and a poodle, bred to combine the poodle's eagerness with the sturdiness of the schnauzer. If you're interested and want to find out if snoodle is a good fit for your family, here are 10 fun facts about the snoodle that you need to know. Number 1. Their History the Snoodle was developed in the 1980s when the interest began to grow in the Poodle Crosses. The original goal with the Snoodle was to create a low-shedding, low-dander family dog. Although the Snoodle hasn't quite gained the popularity of other designer breeds, there's a strong following that has created a demand for Snoodle puppies. The Snoodle is generally the result of breeding between a Schnauzer and a Poodle, although some breeders have started breeding multi-generational Snoodles, that is, Snoodles bred to other Snoodles. Right now, there are no breed clubs or standards, but efforts have begun to create both. Number 2. Their size. The size of the snoodle depends on the size of the parents. A standard poodle bred to a giant schnauzer would produce offspring who will be the size of their large parents. If a standard poodle and standard schnauzer are crossed, then the result could be sizes ranging between both the miniature snoodle and the standard snoodle. This uncertainty is part of the joy of a mixed breed, and the ultimate details can be a welcome surprise. There are no breed standards for the snoodle, so predicting adult size is not an exact science. Toy snoodles range from 10 to 12 inches in height and weigh 6 to 10 pounds while miniature snoodles range from 12 to 15 inches in height and weigh 13 to 20 pounds and standard snoodles range from 15 to 26 inches in height and weigh 20 to 75 pounds number three they are great companion dogs the Snoodle is cheerful and intelligent. Described as forever happy, this designer dog's favorite joys in life are playing and hanging out with his family. Bred to be a companion dog, he's proven that he can do well in agility and as a therapy dog. He makes a terrific jogging companion and his love of activity can get you off the couch as well. With all in all, he will fill your life and lap with love and laughter. Number 4. They're great for allergy sufferers Did you know the Snoodle has a low shedding coat? Well, this means they're a great companion for those who suffer from allergies. You'll need to groom and brush your Snoodle regularly, however, when it comes to allergies, there's very low risk. The Snoodle coat is meant to resemble a Schnauzer puppy's soft and wavy coat. Generally, first-generation litters have a wavy coat that's soft in texture and remains soft throughout the dog's life. Number 5. They're available in many colors Did you also know that Snoodle puppies are available in a wide area of colors? Well, that's true. You can find snoodle puppies in brown, gray, white, apricot, tan and black, sable, black and white, black and tan, and even party color. If you have a preference, the good news is there are options. Number 6. They're super energetic. Snoodles can be high energy dogs. They require about 30 to 60 minutes of exercise per day. The snoodles should have plenty of exercise every day. Both schnauzers and poodles are smart, so this hybrid requires daily mental stimulation as well. A snoodle who is not properly exercised or stimulated can become destructive and difficult difficult to handle. Number 7. Their grooming The amount of grooming needed for a snoodle really depends on the coat of the individual dog. If your dog has the soft, wavy type of coat, brush once or twice a week to prevent tangles and mats. The snoodle will also need to be bathed on an as-needed basis to keep the coat soft. The best time to brush is after a bath. Drying the coat with a hair dryer will help prevent any mats from forming. A snoodle with the rough, wiry coat of the schnauzer parent will not require as much grooming as the silky-haired variety, but weekly brushing is best. With some trimming to keep it tidy and free of dead hair. A snoodle with the poodle's curly coat, on the other hand, needs regular brushing and should be clipped every six to eight weeks. Number eight, they are highly intelligent. Something that many potential snoodle owners don't realize is how smart this breed of dog really is. In fact, they are so smart, this is one of the easiest dogs to train. In addition to being smart, they are also eager to please, both with and without reward. They will listen to the commands you give them and appreciate the praise that follows. This helps them pick up on your instructions pretty quickly. Number 9. They shouldn't be left alone for long Snoodles shouldn't live outdoors or in kennels since they can suffer from separation anxiety if left alone for long periods at a time. This can lead to barking and destructive behaviors. Snoodles are not a noisy breed, but if they become bored and are left alone for longer periods, they may begin the habit. And once that habit starts, it can be difficult to stop, so nip it in the bud. Number 10. They are great with children Snoodles make excellent family pets, and they love to play with kids and be the center of attention. Both parent breeds Breeds are good with kids, but of course, all puppies need to be socialized with children to be comfortable with them. Introducing a five-year-old dog to your toddler is a different ball game than introducing a puppy. But when exposed early, snoodles and kids get along famously. All right, guys, those are the top 10 most interesting facts about the snoodle. Do you think these designer breeds are going to be a good fit for your family after watching the video? Let us know in the comments below. Also, do share some of the unique characteristics of your snoodle if you already have one. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. For more information like this, click on our channel and of course, don't forget to subscribe.